everybody and welcome back to uh, Roomy Decor. I'm Miss Tristan. And I'm Miss Allison. And we are showing you some wall hangings today that we made out of yarn. And this is a cool um, craft for tweens or adults. Um, I mean, we're doing it. Yeah, we're having <laughs> fun with it. Uh, it's, you know, it's not complicated. There's no actual weaving involved. Mm -mm. So um, let me tell you the basics and Miss Tristan will talk about the one she did, and we'll see, you know, and I'll, I might bring it up close so you can see it better. Um, but in the meantime, what you need is a wooden dowel of some sort, and I thought maybe you could use a ruler or something. Uh, oh, that's a, a good ruler, idea. Any kind of piece of wood that you have, but it has to be kind of longish. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't have ends to it, but I bet you could probably glue on ends if you wanted to glue something on there. I just thought of something. What about a branch? Like oh. a birch branch you find on the ground? Yeah. Yeah, a branch would be good too. And I actually have branches in my trunk of my car. I should have thought of that. But anyway, this is, I got these, I got a set of like 10 of these at, a, at the dollar store and mm -hmm. it was super inexpensive. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need some yarn. I just use white on this one here, um, like that. Uh, Miss Tristan used colors on hers, the one back here. All different, like an ombre sort of effect on hers. Mm -hmm. Um, I like the thicker yarn because you need less of it. Mm -hmm. So I used, I'm going to use my pointer. <laughs> Teacher I, time. <laughs> I used six of these little sections. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. And, <laughs> and I measured, very scientifically measured these by simply just measuring the length of my arms like that. Wow. And I did four of them. So I have, oop, I have three here, I think. Isn't that like the olden days when they used to measure the king's foot? Mm -hmm. And that was the foot of measurement? Uh, maybe, but this I is just- I don't know if that's a fact. This is I just, just came easy. Up with that. So I just did that. That's three and I have one more to do. Uh, it's I nice might have you hold- too, isn't it? I might have you hold up this. Um, so I kind of just measured it out by matching it up with the other ones and- There, go. Oh, there we go. Then I just folded nice. it in half like this. So you'd have one clump and then you can tie it on your dowel just by slipping it through. Like this. Oh, nice. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh, that one's probably like easier that. than mine. Yeah. I took mine and I knotted three of them together. Oh, so you knotted them. Yeah, yeah. Um, which was kind of like working with a lot of spaghetti and hair at the same time, <laughs> but not this. That's kind of complicated. Thing. It sounds gross. Okay, but yeah, I just knotted it so, at the top. So I did six of these and each one, and you can do any design you want. On this one, I decided I was gonna do like an angle coming down like this. Mm -hmm. And but you can do like a V, you could just do all the same if you wanted to, mm -hmm. you could do anything. Um, but what you're gonna do is, <laughs> anyway, um, so you're gonna take these tiny little hair rubber bands like that. You can use any color or clear ones. I know they sell clear ones too. And then we have those old loopy bracelet making bands too that we have here at the library, which are kind of colorful. But I, I chose light blue, but let me do a purple one. So basically you're just gonna group it together, pull it through, and, oh, you gotta do it twice. Oh, okay. you're pulling my hair. Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of fraying <laughs> a little bit, but that's okay. All right, so then you're gonna kind of poop it out a little bit. Oh yeah, yeah. So it adds yeah, a little yeah. effect. It kind of looks yeah. like a little face right there. You could do a little face too if you want to. Cool. No. So then you just keep on doing it. And yeah. you follow a progression. And nice. you do, yeah, you do, I did six, but you could do more if you had a larger dowel. Yeah. You can make a really terrific, huge wall hanging. Oh yeah, but, you could. So once you're done with layering them all, what I did was, I'm gonna pull it forward again. What I did was, is I decided I was gonna add beads to some of the sections. So I added a bead here and a bead over here, and then I kind of gradually went up. And then I said, hey, why don't I add more beads? So I strung some beads in between each two sections and kind of made it kind of fun and playful. That's nice. But I, like I actually didn't finish it because when you're actually done with it, can you hold that? Yep, you got it. Um, you want to level it off a little bit. You don't want it to be all kind of 
sloppy, uneven. If you like it uneven, fine. You can leave it that way, but right. I just kind of like an even bottom. Or you could do a diagonal like you said before. You could. You could do it up like this if you really yeah. want to make it something different. Something different. I mean, you could do like a thousand of these and do them all different. Yeah, I mean, you could, like I always say, you can give it for a gift, you could decorate your room, you could even, I was thinking, if you have a baby coming, someone has a baby coming for a baby yeah. shower, you could do it all in pink or blue if you knew what the baby was and kind yeah. of do a design. And I like also natural colored yarn, so a natural one would be cool too. I'm gonna grab mine, Miss Allison, and, and then okay. um, we'll come right back and we'll take a look at mine. Yeah. Hello, we're back. Um, I just wanted to show my um, wall hanging up close a little bit. Um, what I did was I took a cream color and I um, made the color get a little bit darker as you go down to the other side. Um, I tied some knots up here. So all I did was I took some of the thread and the yarn. I took about three strands, folded them in half, and then just knotted the top and slipped them on. Um, and then I knotted periodically up here too. So it would give it a little bit of um, variation. Oh, that's um, a nice one because it has all yeah. the texture in it. And um, at the bottom, I mean, this is, you could do anything with this. But at the bottom, I attached some beads too. It's hard to see because it's- A little closer. <laughs> I just attached some clear heart beads at the bottom to kind of give it some weight so that it stays down. Um, and you know, it's cute too. So, um, and then I attached some of the uh, strings that I had trimmed from the bottom, I put at the top. I'm just gonna lean it yeah. back a little bit. Yeah. There we go. And then you can see at the top, I just tied some tassels and tied some yarn at the I top. I like the tassels on the side. Just to hang it up. So, it's really pretty. Yeah, you know, this was a fun project. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Miss Allison. Yeah, it was a really good one. Um, but you I have get to creative. admit, I was watching a YouTube video on this. Um, my friend Liz from YouTube. <laughs> Hey, you but the one I did is different than the one she did, and mm -hmm. everybody's using each other's ideas, and, and you know, we're sharing. The fun part is, you have so much yarn. You could have like a yarn fight too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Or you could just like play with, you know, baseball and, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But there's so many different you colors. Could play baseball. There's so many colors. That Another thing you could do too is you could do some weaving. You could do some braiding with yeah. the yarn. And there's Go so many in things. And, out and, you know, I found it a, um, a lot easier to work on like a really big flat surface so that um i could just like stand over it and really look at my colors i've seen some that are kind of like grouped like this yeah and then you can kind of let it go and then group it again yep that would be cool too i could do that in the future too you know or or trim it i could tr make it really short yeah you so, can do like a v shape if you wanted to yeah possibilities are endless yeah, and you know so. what you could use bigger beads up here you could use smaller ones you could use animal beads or really mm. like really expensive glass be beads, those would be nice. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Or even prisms. Ooh. Wow, this is really this <laughs> is taking off. So let's uh let's conclude here. Um, <laughs> thank you for joining us for a roomy, roomy decor. Yeah, and all the supplies for this project, it's not expensive. No, no. So no. just, you know, yeah. tell mom it won't cost much just to get the color yarns you like and yeah. um, dollar yeah. store or Walmart or whatever, or in your closet, you know, look around. You might have something hanging See around what you that got. you can use. You know, I even was thinking like twist ties or, you know, uh, even those hair clips that you get at the dollar store. You could use you could use hemp, string, anything. Yep, you could yep. do like the natural look, you know. Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, possibilities are endless and thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. See you next time, everyone. Bye. Thanks for joining us.